Snagit has a great capture method called All-in-One. All-in-One is designed to handle most of the capturing you might need to use. If you've used previous versions of Snagit, you know we had separate capture profiles for window, region, object, full screen, and scrolling capture. Well, All-in-One combines these capture input methods into one super capture. So let me take you through what All-in-One can do. First, let's start by opening a browser, then opening Snagit and clicking All-in-One from the profiles. You'll notice that Snagit uses yellow crosshairs that go across the screen. Just like any crosshair, aim the middle at what you want to capture. Notice the area outlined with yellow? Everything inside the yellow box is what Snagit will capture when you click your left mouse button. And as I move my mouse around, the area selected changes according to the object I'm pointing at. If I place my cursor on the title bar of the application, Snagit outlines the entire window. And with a quick click, I can capture the window and bring it into the Snagit editor. What's nice is I can press the print screen button on my keyboard and Snagit's gonna hide away so I can start another capture. We've already seen how to capture a window. Let's capture a region. Region capture is great when you just need to grab a small portion of the screen. All I need to do is click and drag my mouse to draw a box on the screen. Notice that the Snagit magnifier also appears as I slow my mouse down. This lets you get the precise area that you want. Now I've been holding my left mouse button this whole time to select this area. When I let go of the left mouse button, Snagit will capture the area inside the region. But if I captured the wrong area or I wanted to start somewhere different, I can press the right mouse button or the escape button on my keyboard to cancel the capture. I'll cancel this capture because I want to show you a trick that you can use when capturing a region. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to capture a region instead of using your mouse. Just press the enter key once to start the capture and then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to select an area. You may notice that this is a little slow. It's slow because Snagit is moving the capture crosshairs one pixel at a time, which is nice when you need to be precise with your movements. But if you want to select a large area, hold down the control key on the keyboard and Snagit will move five pixels at a time. You can also constrain your capture area to a perfect square by pressing the shift key. When you've selected the area you want, Tap the enter key on your keyboard and the capture opens in the Snagit editor. Well, there's one more capture style I want to highlight, so I'll press the print screen button again. You may have noticed some new buttons that appear at the bottom and side of the screen. These buttons appear when Snagit detects a window with scroll bars and lets you start a scrolling capture. To capture a scrolling area, just place the crosshairs over the button. Snagit indicates what area will be captured by showing a faint white area above and below the scroll bars. So I'll click the vertical scrolling area button and Snagit will process the capture. You'll notice that scrolling capture is a lot faster in some applications. In fact, they're usually instant. For some other applications, scrolling capture may not be as fast, but give it a moment and Snagit will capture it.